In colonial days, letters were sealed using wax. Today, sealing wax is still made using the old formula, but its application is different. This is how they used to seal the envelopes that went through the mail. There's your seal. But now it's mostly used um, in manufacturing and, and uh, lapidary business. The CTA uses it in, in, uh, to cover a bolt to keep moisture out of uh, the undercarriage of the CTA transit elevated cars. And optical companies use it to uh, hold the lenses while they uh, grind them. Uh, some of the ingredients is uh, Brazilian pine resin. Comes in a big drum, weighs 551 pounds per drum, and then it's opened up and dumped out, and I bust it up in small chunks to melt it down. And this is melted down, and it makes my main base. In this barrel is my whiting. It's the, I call it whiting, it's the limestone that we add into it. And then after it's all mixed in good and everything, we put the shellac in it. And this is the shellac, it comes from India. This is what I call the gold of the product because this is the most expensive by having to transport it from India and everything and it is quite thin. I'm loading this up, it'll, it'll fill three molds and make six pounds of sticks. It has, if you don't put any color in it, it's like a butterscotch color, the natural color of the product is. Then I come back and take the excess off of my molds. which the excess will be melted down and made into sticks because it doesn't hurt it as long as it's not overly heated. It doesn't hurt to remelt it down. To crack the molds, I got a bead on them to bust them loose inside so that it'll open the mold. These molds weigh 80 pounds, each half of it. Once I get them cracked open, I clean them. On the ends, there's little extra pieces. They will not fit in my boxes if I leave those on, so I clean them and stack them. We have no um, waste in our product. The pieces that I cut off the top of the molds and uh, other pieces, if I break a stick or something like that, it's all remelded and made into sticks later on. This is my natural products. I've got sticks laid out here. I've got them in all four colors that I make. This is the natural color of it before I ever uh, uh, put any coloring in it. And then I have the black and the red and the green and these are our four main colors. Uh, we have about eight different formulas all together and some of it goes into bars and some of it is strictly for bulk. I make stuff in bulk and I just pour it in a pan out and uh, when it sets up then I crack it with a hammer and box it to 50 pounds to a box. If I'm making nothing but bulk, I can do 600 pounds in a day. Fun part, it's a unique job. There's, um, this is the only factory that I know of that sells nothing but sealing wax and it's just got, it's such a unique product that it's, it's really a pleasure to come in here and do the job. Princeton Sealing Wax not only ships their product worldwide, but they're also used by many reenactors. To reach the Princeton Sealing Wax Company, call 815-875-1943.